This sanctuary for orphaned bear cubs is expecting a busy year. It's going to get really bad. The, um, the need will be humongous. Cubs here have been abandoned by their mothers, attacked by dogs, even caught in wildfire. This female is recovering from burned paws. So whether it's a fire or the drought that's driving them out doesn't really make any difference. But for us, it means that province-wide, bears are in trouble. There's three of them. They're climbing the tree. Biologists don't know exactly what's happening to northern BC's black bear population, but in Prince George, many are coming closer to humans. It could be because their habitat has burned or because drought has dried up their food sources. We're in kind of an unprecedented time here, and we're sitting, it's, yeah, we're just run off our feet essentially. RCMP have told people to stop calling unless a bear is being aggressive. If people are in danger, then we'll respond rapidly, but um, other than that, we just kind of have to let these animals live their lives. We're in their territory as much as they're in ours. In August, conservation officers put down 36 bears for safety reasons. Compare that to last year when no bears were killed. Anytime that people are interacting with bears, it just increases the possibility or the percentage of bears who may end up getting killed um, because of those interactions. They're distinctive. They have distinctive Advocates say protect the bears really by getting rid of any food. Pick fruit trees, clean up garbage. There are still weeks until hibernation. Close encounters are expected to continue. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Vancouver.